Hello everybody, welcome back. C Ray Tech here. I've got an update on the H8 Mini uh, Whoop build that I've been working on. So I put in new motors, and these are the Beta FPV 17,500 kV motors. I picked these up on Amazon. I've got a video that I just put up for that, so if you hadn't seen it, check it out. Um, this thing's my fastest Tiny Whoop to, to date. Um, this thing's awesome. I really want curious to see how it would perform with the insane motors but I'm pretty satisfied with it as it is right now so I did trim down a few things you'll notice that I have the two blade props on now um, I did get a little crazy with the hot glue in the front but the camera was was having trouble getting it stick to the frame um, I also trimmed down the frame just a little bit more so I could get the flight controller to sit perfectly flat um, some other things that I've done was trim down the battery cable, or not the battery cable, I'm sorry, the Velcro strap for it. So I just cut it down the center so it was a little bit skinnier. And um, I'm getting the same uh, flight time that I do with my other tiny wheat build. Uh, there's really no difference in regards to that. I'm still getting about five minutes on the 230 milliamp hour batteries. I would say I, get, I could still get pretty close to that with the 205s, but these are the high voltage batteries, so these seem to be just as powerful. But like I like I said in previous videos, this is right now an amazing deal. So um, that's pretty much it for this. I did get something really cool today. I want to show this to you guys. <clears throat> I saw this on Amazon uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's a charger, but you can charge five batteries at once which for me is really nice. I still want to get a nice charger that I can better balance my batteries and make sure that they're discharged to a safe place so that when I store them, I don't really have to worry about as much. But for now, this thing's pretty cool. I've used it to charge batteries today, and I mean, it worked exactly how it's supposed to. Um, you'll notice up to the top, there's the switches, so you can change between 200 milliamps and 500 milliamps. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can charge both uh, tiny loop batteries. You can use the one and a quarter pitch, and you can also use the pH 2.0. So it's pretty nice. Um, one thing I do want to do, and uh, if anybody knows somebody, it would be awesome. I would love to get a case 3D printer for this thing. Um, oh, one thing I left out, I'm sorry. You can uh, charge this with any 2S to 6S battery. And then I've been using it by plugging it into the micro USB here. So yeah, but anyway, I would love to get a case 3D printer for this. i um, not sure if anybody's out there who's currently made one or knows somebody, but if you could throw something in the comments for me, I'd greatly appreciate that. So um, stay tuned for some future videos. I got some more builds coming up. I got some other things that I'm working on. And... Uh, and I hope everybody has a good day, and remember to fly safe and fly often.